Frank and the Knights of the Eco Quest. King Frank and the Knights of the Eco Quest. King Frank and the Knights of the Eco Quest. Episode 14 The Prisoner Poet. Locked up in the dungeon, no one in the castle was aware of the knight's mistaken identity hassle. Branded as thieves and in just pants and a vest was no way of ending their eco-quest. As for the royals, all that they knew was the knights were missing, but there was just one clue that gave hope they were still homeward bound. Their horses, their armour and clothes had been found. Where are the knights? That is the question. We'll find them, I vow. But when? Make haste! And how? I'll deal with it, my daughter. Let's not get into a row. Here's our messenger. Let's hope it is good news he will mention about tonight's feast. Dear husband, please give it your attention. Your Royal Highnesses, the acts that were booked are plagued with the upset tongue that is beginning to spread around the kingdom. Your juggler is looking feverish and red, and Lester the Jester is in his sick bed. This is terrible. All my planning has been in vain. All the time I spent setting up such jovial entertainment. But, Your Highnesses, if I may mention it, I have an idea. We are all ears. Well, I'm a bit of an amateur magician. And along with my lute, I could also be your musician. My favourite is poetry. Are you able to give a rendition? Y- no, but I hear we've a prisoner in one of our cells whose reciting of poetry cannot be quelled. A prisoner poet? How novel, how cute. He could perform after the ventriloquist and his puppet mute. Bring him to us. I grant a royal reprieve for him to perform, but, but only this eve. So Leofric was marched from the cell to present his poetry show and tell. And still in his shabby underwear, his dirty face was covered with long, scraggly hair. So, prisoner poet, let's hear your verse. Leofric stared at king, queen and princess. None recognised him in his state of undress. It's me, really me, Leofric the poet knight. Perhaps I gave you a bit of a fright? Last time you saw me, I had my poet's hat, my colourful robes, my pen and pad, and perhaps my yoga mat. Prisoner poet, unkempt, undressed and unclean. Heaven knows where you've been, but we've never seen you before. Your Majesties, what's more, I can prove it. Who else could come up with this verse about the knights of the eco-quest and be so well rehearsed? Three knights are a princess's behest, were hired for an eco-quest, and to ensure that they set out properly dressed, she advised them to wear these long pants and a vest. Wait, that's true. Father, mother, it's true that at my behest, I made the knights take gloves, long pants and a vest. Leah Frick, then it really is you. Where are the other two? In your dungeon. It was a trap. One of your men accused us of stealing a map. A map we acquired with the information about the Fountain of France location. He now has the chart the kingdom requires. Perhaps he'll hold it to ransom. The traitor! And liar! As for your clothes, armour and horses, they were retrieved. You may use our bath and get dressed. Such good news. I'm relieved. I'll send my guards to capture the traitor and retrieve the map from that frankdom hater. Guards, do my bidding without delay and release Katrain and Alf. Go, on your way. The soldier was caught and the map found in time. The knights were released and bathed, dressed and dined. As the knights stood with the royals of the Kingdom of Frank, crowds gathered to meet them with greetings and thanks. Fireworks were launched from the castle's towers and the knights were bedecked with garlands and flowers. And now, good Frank folk, what remains is to hear a speech from courageous country. Your Highnesses, we have returned from a challenging quest with eco treasure of the very best. Our trials began with a fly tipper who almost took me out, but your men eventually caught up with that lout. On a river of poo, our situation was drastic. Then we rode by the terrible ocean of plastic where a landphilosaurus put us to the test and almost removed us all from the quest. When camping one night, we all double blinked when we saw ghosts of animals all now extinct. At one point, we and our horses were trapped in a mountain range made entirely of scrap. 
In a landscape of tree stumps and devastation, we saw the effects of deforestation. A polar bear warned us of forest fires. And if that wasn't enough to make us perspire, we crossed scorching deserts. It was very hot. But we were helped by a camel at that very spot. We nearly didn't make it through. <clears throat> to continue. But the polar bear had a map with riddles and rhyme. Our hearts almost sank and it took us some time to answer the map's riddle, a poetic prank, which revealed the location of the Fountain of Frank. And in exchange for the map, the polar bear bade me ask you to help with a duty of care. Father, I think that's a fair polar bear demand. We should reduce our emissions to protect its Arctic land. My Princess Aquiline, it is agreed and shall be decreed. Please, tell us more, noble knightly band. What of the long-lost Fountain of Frank? Well, the map shows the Fountain of Frank didn't vanish at all. Its spring is buried in a cave near these castle walls. For hundreds of years it got blocked up with trash. Now is the time to get your fountain back. Princess Aquiline and the ladies and lords join the crowd in cheers and rapturous applause. Good night. Thank you for your oration. Pete the Piper, our plumber, shall start Fountain of Frank excavations. We can only hope this job is quickly done. It's not easy finding a plumber when you need one. Where is that plumber? We haven't got all day. Finishing a job said he'd soon be on his way. Let's hope he uncovers the fountain, I pray. He's in sight. It's Pete the Piper. And his plumbing team. Bet there'll be loads of pipes and a big pumping machine. I'm staying well back. He'll probably be smelly. You never know where he's been. Wow, look at all those hoses and stuff. Really cool. Let's give him a hand at unloading his tools. G'day, Your Majesties, Noble Knights. Pete the Piper here at your command. I'm covered in muck, otherwise I'd offer my hand. Quickly, my man, get to it. We have a map with the fountain's location, measurements and information. All right, let me, uh, right, uh, check out the cave. Yep, gonna need a massive expensive pump. That'll break your bank. And then there's the very special tank. Going to be pricey. What I fix here and what I put there, I'll be laying pipes everywhere. Yes, yes, yes. Do what it takes. Well, I've another job on down at the polluted lake. But for our kingdom's sake, I'll be happy to start the work straight away. And as I dig, I like music to play. I have a tongue tingling hit that makes me work faster the more I rhyme it. Pete the piper piped a pipe to pipe the water flow. A pipe to pipe the water flow. Pete the piper piped. The type of hype about the pipe that Pete the piper piped was hype that Pete the piper piped out on a type of pipe. Bravo! Go forth, Pete the piper. Find the spring and plumb pipes from the fountain to all of Frankton. Pete scratched his head and looked at the map. His first job at the cave was to clear out the scrap that had blocked the cave's entrance for year after year. I'm going to need more labourers here. We three knights will be part of the team. Wait a minute. I've only just washed with face and hand cream. There'll be pure water to face wash if we reach the source. And I'll direct its flow on a new course. Right, now get shoveling all of this plastic litter and grot. What a mess. Cans, bags, bottle, straws. Who dumped this lot? Not looking promising. Come on, shift that last bit. Mm, let's... Let's see that map again. Are you sure we can trust it? Hey, wait. There's something squelching under my boot. Me too. On me. Over here near these dead roots. Noble knights, you truly done good. You struck gold. Not real gold, but mud. But wait, listen. Here comes the flow. It's going to blow. Look out. Here comes the gush. In a moment, there'll be an almighty rush. Oh, no. This will be worse than my bathroom's exploding plumbing. Stand back. There's an explosion of water coming. King Frank and the Knights of the Eco Quest is a soundscape production for fun kids, supported by the Audio Content Fund. King Frank and the Knights of the Eco Quest.